see is the Virginia regiments moving forward, the Louisiana regiments moving forward. Pretty soon the Mississippi will be in action. And as they come down that valley, it's pretty clear that the Union cannot hold.
They're going to keep pushing and pushing until finally the Union Army is withdrawn. Now, the importance of this battle is that once they realize that a frontal attack on Bull Run is not likely to work, and so the Federal Army changes their plan. Instead of attacking across any of those eight to ten forts, they instead will come upon a brand new plan, which in fact, those of you who come join us tomorrow will see go into action. And this will be a sweep around the Confederate Army's left flank. They'll send an entire division, and this will open what is called today the First Battle of Manassas, or the First Battle of Bull Run. That'll be tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and uh, you'll see both signal towers used. You'll see all of these hills used. You'll see the fence line that's off to your left occupied by Confederates. Battles will go on all along the area. see the Union Army get the order to retreat because it's a hopeless situation. They're not about to successfully cross this board. And the only sensible thing they can do is withdraw back to the safety of their own artillery and try again another day. Now keep in mind, the troops that you're seeing right now on the Union side, they will not fight again because they face each other for the next several days. This entire battle will shift upstream, and that's what you'll see tomorrow when we present the Battle of First Manassas. has been made. The Union Army has decided it's not going to be able to take this crossing. The Confederates have been victorious. The Confederates have learned a lesson that they've got to have reserve units ready to pursue any Union crossing. And the Union Army will lick its wounds and try again tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Now keep in mind, the Confederates are not content just to go right to the edge of the, of the full run. Some of them advance across and are able to capture some Union troops that are slow in escaping. In addition, there's a lot of Union wounded who are down in those fields, and those men will be taken to Confederate hospitals. If they're able, they will be sent to Richmond, Virginia, where they'll reside in Belle Island, Virginia, Belle Island, Richmond. Now keep in mind, that this part of the war, everybody still thought that this war was going to be very quick. And so they often would release prisoners just right, raise their right hand and gave a promise that they would go home and not come back to fight. Many of those men, of course, would be back in the war shortly on both sides.